Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you this uh, DC to DC converter converter board. Uh, it comes from DRO King or DROK or DROK, um, purchased on Amazon, somewhere around 10 bucks. Um, you put zero, well I'm sorry, you put in um, 5 to 35 volts here and then you can pull out 0 to 33 volts here and it's digital so the way this guy works is um, you put your input voltage here and then if you hit this I here sorry the I will show you the input voltage and the O um, will give you the output voltage and then uh, when you press the plus button the voltage will go up and when you hit the minus button, the voltage will go down. And then when you power it off and power it back on, it remembers uh, the last setting, which is pretty important. So it just comes with uh, this. This is the instructions. This is it. This is all you get. It shows you the, uh, the, the input, the output, and the buttons, and kind of gives you a little bit of instructions on uh, what I just explained. And then there's some warnings there. Um, uh, I think it's up to it's good up to um, standard currents two amps max current is three amps uh, I will not be using anywhere near that but so anyway what I've got here is I've got my uh, my panel uh, for my um, lathe and I need 12 volts and I got a 24 volts in so the thought is to bring 24 volts in to the converter, set the output to set the output to 12, and then I can um, I'll have my 12 volts with using just the two wires. So what I've done already was um, created these. These are 440 uh, nuts, and they've just been super glued down. And um, I'm going to go ahead and mount the board here. And my screws here are a little longer than they need to be. These are the smallest ones I've got. So what I'm going to do here, let's see, I've got some razor blades. I took one out, and I'm just going to go ahead and this is that same tube uh, tubing that I'm using for the steam engines. So I'm just going to cut four pieces off to make little spacers. Okay, I've got my four spacers. I'll go ahead and put my screws in here. Put the spacers on there. Okay, there's two down. and four. Okay. Now I just put a pencil in there and transferred uh, where they go with a pencil onto the back and then I just super glued right on top. I do know it's a little bit crooked, but nobody will see this, so I'll be fine with it. So now the board is mounted in there, and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the wiring and uh, show you how to set the voltage. Okay, so I've got the uh, controller wired into the 24 volts coming in, my wiring mess here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and turn it on and kind of show you how this works. So uh, I'm gonna turn the 24 volts on. Uh, and I don't have the speed control or anything plugged in right now. 
so you won't hear any beeps it's kind of hard to see uh, I don't know if I can kill that light but it's it's saying 5 volts there lighting but now you can see it says 5 volts that's the uh, output voltage I press this button here this is the input input voltage 24.5 volts output voltage 5 volts and the inside one raises it 0.1 volt now if you hold it down it will start raising uh, after the point and we're gonna go up to uh, I guess 13.2 somewhere between 8 and 15 so we'll go run it with 13.2 um, okay now hopefully we won't make smoke smoke I already got this wired in and our tack should be lit up it is we got our tack lit up and I don't have the speed controller wired in let me go ahead and turn my uh, power off and as the cap runs down you'll see these numbers start to drop there we go and then we'll plug in the the volt an amp meter here get that backwards okay and now we just have to put all these wires in here and we'll test the whole system I got more screws to put in, uh, but for right now, the demonstration, I'll just go with the one. Turn the 24 volt back on. And there we go. The uh, DC to DC regulator is working awesome. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Yeah, have a nice day.